What's up guys, welcome back to another trip to the thrift. So today is Saturday. I actually woke up this morning expecting to go to the flea market, but as you guys can see, that is not gonna happen. And supposedly it's supposed to rain like all week. So don't expect a flea market grab video this week, unfortunately. I thought since I'm already up, I might as well go hit the thrift stores since I can't go to the flea market and go see what we can find. If you guys do enjoy these videos, please hit that like button. It lets me know. Drop a comment down below and subscribe if you are not already. So let's go see what we can find this week. Got some Prestos, but uh, these things are destroyed. Like, why are you even trying to sell these? <laughs> we got the Obama 08. This would be a dollar seventy-five. Stand for change, Obama 08 on the back. Canvas art. For a dollar a piece, I found Arkham Knight on the PS4, which I'll probably get that one to play personally. Donkey Kong Country Returns. Complete. And then Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life on the GameCube. I also found all these right here for a dollar a piece, but I'm not gonna get these because they're not really worth nothing. Even though this right here is a really good game. We are in the Goodwill outlet where I never find anything. But I did find these Air Max Pluses, but they're all ripped up. They're size five and a half. We got a Wolf Grade 3, but these things are destroyed and I can't find the other one. And these were not even that great to look at in the first place anyway. We got a fake pair of Green Glows. Pair of Air Max 97s, but of course I cannot find the other one. What else is new? Play-Doh's coming through today. We got the Olive 13s. Do have a little couple scuffs for 40 bucks, size nine and a half. Shadow 10s, which this is actually a shoe I've been wanting for only $25, size nine and a half. But the best one right here, these premium Jordan 11s for 60 bucks, size eight. So on further inspection, it turns out that these are fake, which sucks, but whatever. I looked up uh, online like how to tell if these are fake. Uh, the stamp underneath the the uh, insole is like really light. It's supposed to be dark. The bottoms are not as milky as they're supposed to be. Oh well, what can you do? Still getting the Shadow Tims though, because uh, I've been looking for these shoes and I'm happy I came in here at least for these. For $4.99 size medium, I found this Mitchell & Ness New York Knicks tee with one blue sleeve and one orange sleeve. Also for $16.81, I found the Steve Nash football jersey. Which this is actually pretty dope. Some Air Max 90s, size five and a half though, and they want $13 for them. For $3.99 size XL, we got the Michigan Champion Reverse Weave Crew Neck. And check out this dope Inuyasha shirt that I found. Somebody was trying to hide it in the um, polo shirt section for $2.99. I guess it's like some uh, limited edition or something. I'm not the biggest Inuyasha fan, but I thought this shirt was pretty dope. Walking here through the shoe section, I found these triple white Ultra Boost right here. They want $8.99, but these things are demolished, so won't probably won't be getting these. For $3.99, we got the Logo Athletic size large Kansas City Chiefs crew neck. This one's actually pretty cool. So I found both of these uh, Nike Brazil jerseys right here. They're both $3.99, but they are really stained up. I don't know if it's coming up in the camera, but it's really bad. For a $1.49 size large, I found the Diamond Supply tee right here with what I think is Zendaya on it. If it's not, then it's somebody who really looks like her. Alright, if you guys have been watching my videos, then you guys know that I'm a wrestling fan. So for $0.95, cents, found the Cesaro shirt. My size too, but the main one that I found that I really like is the CM Punk shirt right here for $1.99. CM Punk is definitely up there and one in my favorites of all time. They got these little bronze coins, I think they're called. A dollar for a dollar ninety-nine. They're like missing some of the thread right there, so there's like a big hole, but yeah. And no laces. For $2.99, I found this women's North Face fleece jacket. Uh, size XL. And then also for $2.99, I found this uh, windbreaker. No brand in particular, but I just thought the colors were pretty dope. And then, $3.99, I found these ASIC Gel Light 3s, the bandana ones, size 13. Pretty dirty, but I don't know, maybe they can be cleaned up. We got that Fire for $3.99, size 3XO. Hey, 
I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. So I found this Nautica snapback right here. It's like all nylon uh, for $3.99. It says it's from the Nautica Vintage Collection. Still pretty clean overall. So I found three games. We got TMNT on the Xbox for $1.99. Only trades in the GameStop for like two bucks. So I'm probably not gonna get that one. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, Nick 2's Globs of Doom. It's a long title for $2.99. And then Tiger Woods Masters on the Wii, which I remember like two years ago, this game was going for like upwards to like 40 bucks. Um, but now it's only about 15 to 20 for $1.99. Some all black Kyrie 2s for $3.99. Look like they're about size by six and a half. Here's some uh, blue Cortez, pretty beat. There's some LeBron soldiers, not really too much today. We got the Adidas Spain jersey right here for $8.99 size small. You can't really see, but there's like a big light stain right here in the middle. It's not coming up on the camera. But what I do see is Plus Ultra. We got the vintage Wally World from the movie Vacation. Printed on a Bayside tag for $1.99 size XL. Pretty dope. Pretty funny movie too. We got the old school UFC shirt right here for $1.99. Back when there was no rules and it almost got shut down. <laughs> Here's a North Face dry fit shirt. Nothing too crazy. Size large for $1.49. So I found a bunch of games. Uh, we got Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe, but it's actually Injustice on the inside. We got Lego Batman 3 for $3.99. UFC, the first one, for $3.99. Then we got a bunch of Ben 10 games. Sonic and the Secret Rings, which wasn't very good. And Toy Story 3. We got a really beat pair of Triple White Hirachi, size 8.5 for $5.99. Found this little like toddler North Face jacket right here for $5.99. North Face on the back. And then I also found for $2.99 size XL, but I'm pretty sure it's a youth XL. This um, Boston Red Sox like warm up jersey by Majestic. Altered in 89 fours, but they want $17 size four and a half Y. And it's like laces are mix matchy, but they're not too bad. A little bit of scuffing on the toes. So I'm here at the thrift store and um, they got a bunch of shoes, but they're all super huge. They're all like big basketball shoes, but I did find these. I forget what the exact name for these are, but these came out in 05. These are size 18 for $4.99. The only problem is the front needs to be re-glued, but I don't know. Um, size 18? What do you guys think? So for, uh, these are 12.81. These, um, Jordan 11 low IEs, but they're also size 18. <laughs> and then they also have these LeBron 4s that are size 18. These are my favorite LeBrons of all time for 15, but those are size 18 as well. And then they have these, um, I think these are like the LS versions that came out back in the day for $6.99. But these are like really yellow, the patent leather. We got some more humongous Kobe's size 18 for $6.99, the Kobe 7s. And then we also have a pair of Kobe 8s. And these are $8.99, but they're all scuffed up on the toe. And these are also like size 18. I found this Universal Studios Florida tee, size XL for $1.49. We got the One Piece manga for 95 cents. This is actually something I've been wanting to watch, but too many episodes. They have these super beat Jordan 1s right here. $4.99. They got these little fives right here, these low tops, but they have seen better days. They want $3.99 for those. Some all white Roshis for $9.99 though. I think I'm gonna pass. So that brings us to the end of this week's trip to the thrift. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe down below if you want to see more, and drop a comment. Also, I wanted to say the number one question I get asked all the time is where do I sell and if I have a website, well, I actually finally made a website for you guys. It's still like in the early stages so I don't have that much stuff listed on there right now. I just want to do a test run to start things off and see how things go. So the link to my site will be in the description if you guys want to go check that out. That said, I will see you guys next week with another video so later.
you've been.